guys welcome to my channel or welcome back my name is Raven and we're going to talk about the dolphins here's the three reasons why I just absolutely hate the dolphins they have one Super Bowl or into the playoffs in I don't know how many years. So if you can tell me what year they did either one of those things, please do it in the comments. If it was less than 20 years ago, I don't understand why you Dolphins fans are attacking me. All right, I guess that brings me to number two. You guys have a very loyal fan base, but like most Miami, let's just stick to Dolphin fans and your mentality. You guys are loyal to nothing, right? This team has proven to you guys and let you guys down for so long. Like, real bad. Like, if I could cut the Carisha's clip right here, I would, cause it's real bad. And yet, you're still faithful to them. It's almost like, you know, if you were in a really bad toxic relationship and your partner still did the same thing over and over and over if I could cut to Marshawn's clip right here and just go over and over and over again but yet you guys remain faithful for what reason so usually when I ask a Dolphins fan hey why are you a fan of this terrible franchise I mean it's a really bad team like they haven't been good since like before Dan Marino maybe I won't even I'd say since Ricky would I'm gonna just be quiet okay so the fact that I have to dust off those ancient names um, as being the last like good players that came out of the Dolphins team, what does that say about you guys? Like now that you have a penguin and the cheetah, okay great, but you have no quarterback. I mean, did you see it? Were you guys watching the same game that I was watching? How could you be proud of that? Granted, your defense is getting a little better. It's there. That's what has allowed you guys to win this far. But everybody in Miami is completely in a trance. Like, I won't tell you about Kenny, my coworker, who I met out in California, who was a Dolphins fan, and he had never been here from Miami. He's not from Miami, and he's never been to Miami, yet he has an overwhelming love for the Dolphins as well. And honestly, this kind of stunned me. But I didn't let it, you know, come in between my professional relationship with him. I clearly told him that I hate the Dolphins. He said, how could you be from Miami and hate the Dolphins? And I said, well, how could you be? <laughs> we went back and forth. It was a kind exchange of words. But, you know, I just, at the end of the day, I let him have it. Because, well, and that kind of taught me that the delusion spreads far from Miami. It spreads <laughs> the Miami men. They don't really commit to anything. They want you to work hard, actually, for bare minimum. Like, real bare. Like, $40 in a hotel room kind of minimum. Which is, like, something that a girl like me can't... Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. At Let's time. talk about that another day. So, the fact that Miami men settle for the bare minimum, yet you're asking of a woman to do the fucking maximum. Yeah, the Dolphins have never done that for you and you're still loyal to them. How can you disrupt your households in this manner? Hmm? You should be asking yourself that. How is it possible for you to have three, four baby mamas and one sports team? Let's talk about it. Like, let's get into it. Number one, they ain't did shit. Number two, they ain't been shit. Number three, the fans think they the shit. Not. Number four, they're loyal to nothing. And for the fifth reason and the last final reason why I hate the Dolphins, let's get into it. They suck. <laughs> they're terrible. I'd rather be a fan of the Jets before I be a fan of the Dolphins. I'd rather be a fan of the cat. Why I hate the Dolphins than I actually gave you five. I think that's good enough. And I got a sixth one. You know what? I'm sure that you're naturally inclined to ask me, well, who's your team? 
Who's your team, Raven? Because that's what they always ask. That, that's what they always ask. I don't have one. Well, it used to be the 49ers because my dad was a 49ers uh, fan. But when we had to wake America up a little bit, my dad stopped watching football, so I no longer had a football team. But if you ask me, I'm a diehard Laker girl. Been a Laker girl, always will be a Laker girl. That is my basketball team. But I don't have a football team, so don't be mad at me. And honestly, that gives me an unbiased opinion. Not having a team gives me an unbiased POV, so I ain't even worry about that little hate y'all was throwing on my Facebook wall either. Um, I just want to say that. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get.